Welcome everyone, Klaprof here. This is my top 10 tips for hardcore in the mountains. For the tip number 10, I have no fighting around slopes. You know how dangerous slopes are, especially on the mountain biome. So your stamina drain will be increased from all that jumping and moving around on the slopes. And fighting on those slopes is a really bad idea. So take care of yourselves not to fight, especially in those dangerous areas. For tip number 9, you can run around wolves. For some reason, if you have, especially if you have the Fenris armor that helps you a lot, you can actually run around wolves without them actually damaging you. But yeah, when you stop, if you stop in the bed like I did there, in a bad spot, <laughs> they will get a chump at you. So uh, generally you should be able to do this, just like you can run around the boar in the meadows. You should be able to run around the wolves in the mountain biome. For the tip number 8, try and avoid the stone golems. Now, the stone golems are easily the most powerful and dangerous enemy in the mountain, especially if you get too close to them. So a good way is to try and sneak around them in the mountain biome. Try to avoid them altogether. You can see them like in that cluster formation of rocks. It's a very distinct cluster. But if you have no choice and you have already aggroed one of them, uh, then you can try your luck and jump on one of the rocks he can't climb all of the rocks, so on some of them you should be safe. And you can start blessing him with arrows as soon as you're on, uh, on a type of rock. It will take a while, but it's way safer than just uh, going... Uh... For the tip number 7, I have don't run from enemies on the mountain. Now obviously I've mentioned this earlier, but yeah, you get a lot of stamina drain from the terrain. So running around is a bad idea. You much better use your stamina to attack the enemies instead of running around uh, and running out of stamina. So attacking them is a way more effective way to deal with them and preserve your stamina. For tip number six, I have preserve your stamina. Now stamina is easily the most important thing in the entire game other than the health. <laughs> or the second most important thing in the game. So you want to keep an eye on your stamina bar. Don't let it run all the way down, especially on the mountain. Yeah, you're, there are so many dangers in here and uh, what I usually do is I uh, always run when I'm running or jumping around. I always keep an eye on the stamina bar, make sure it's at half and then I stop. I only run and jump up until I get the stamina bar to half. So 50% uh, so of the stamina because you might need a dodge roll, you might need some extra jumps and that can save your life so many times. For the tip number 5. You can actually rest by the braziers. Now I know many of you may know this, but uh, I find it a really cool and effective way to get your rested bonus back, especially if you are uh, running out of it and you are in a frost cavern. So just stand by the brazier and you will get your rested bonus really fast. For the tip number four, you can get bronze from braziers. Bronze and cold. Now this is really interesting because the bronze is really hard to come by. You know, you have to mine the copper and the tin and mix them all together. But you can get quite a decent amount of bronze if you start breaking all the braziers in every single cavern that you get your hands uh, on. So breaking the braziers is a really effective way of getting quite a lot of bronze. So you can see right here I got, I don't know, around 10 of these small braziers. And I got quite a lot of, uh, of copper, six pieces of copper just from breaking those. And some coal, around 33 pieces of coal. For the tip number three, I have cave navigation. So same thing as in the burial chambers, you can stick to the right hand wall. So keep to the right hand wall and eventually you will get back to the entrance. You won't get lost if you keep to this strategy, right? So always follow the right hand wall and this tip can actually help you in real life too. Right, so I've checked there, now going, looking at my right hand, I've been there, I've been there, right, moving back toward the entrance, and eventually you will see that we are back where we started by following the right hand wall. For tip number two, I have weapons out at all time. Now, you're playing on hardcore permadeath because this is what these tips are for. <laughs> And let's say you are in the mountain biome and you say, you know what, why do, I ha why do I need to have my weapon out, it slows me down and everything, but trust me, it can save your life. It takes around 0.5 seconds to get the weapon out and you will be slowed down, as you know. So keep your weapons out at all times, doesn't matter, just keep it out, doesn't matter if it slows you down, it will save your life. Because sometimes you can't afford 0.5 seconds 
and you might be surprised by a wolf, by a drake, or staggered by something else. So weapon out is definitely the choice to go for, especially if you go for the mountain biome. Further tip number one, I have avoid blizzards. Now, try and avoid blizzards on the mountain during a hardcore run at all times, right? So when I have a blizzard, I usually run back home, run back to safety. If I have an outpost or something, so many things can go wrong during a blizzard. Enemy rate is increased, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything because of the blizzard. And basically, that means the kind of a death sentence. So a blizzard out here is, yeah, is no good. So try and stay away from any blizzards, so don't spend time if you want to live on the mountain during a blizzard. That's it, that's all I have for now. These were the top 10 tips for the mountain on a hardcore run. Take care of yourselves, thank you for watching, bye bye.